Hello, this is the generally approachable Sudoku for the 9th of February 2024. Uh, it is Read the Room by Bill Murphy, uh, and it is a killer crop key Sudoku. Uh, so, normal Sudoku is apply, so place the digits 1 to 9 in every row, every column, and every 3 by 3 box. Digits separated by a white dot must be consecutive, so those digits have to be consecutive like so, or like so, or like so. Digits in cages must not repeat and must sum to the smaller, uh, whoa, the small corner total. So those digits, for example, would sum to 15, those digits sum to 12, those digits sum to 6, and so on. And I'm assuming not all dots are given, so it's possible for those two digits to be consecutive if they want to be. Right, with that, let us begin solving. Uh, so this setup over here is very telling. Uh, it's a very interesting setup, uh, and you'll start to notice that every single one of these cages have these three consecutive digits in them, and each of these cages have a total that is a multiple of three. And the reason why is actually because if you add three consecutive digits together, you will always get a multiple of three, um, because you could take the middle digit to be x, the digit before that will be x minus 1, the digit after that will be x plus 1, add them together and you'll get 3x, which is the total. And in fact, that does help us in saying that we actually know the middle digit in every single uh, cell here. For, uh, for example, the middle digit has to be x, right? And 3x is equal to 6 in this case, so this digit has to be 2. And we can do that for every other cell here. That is a 6, that is a 3, that would be a, an 8, that would be a 6 again, that would be a 7, that would be a 4. And uh, oh sorry, that would be a 5. But uh, quite interestingly, this concept has come up before in a previous guess. I think it was a zipper sudoku instead of crop key, where the zipper lines were entirely contained within killer cages as well. Uh, yeah, so the idea is actually very similar. We can therefore now tell you the, um, the digits beside the middle digits because they have to be consecutive. So for example, those are 6, 8, this has to be 5, 7, those have to be 7 and 9, those have to be 5, 7, those have to be 2, 4, those have to be 3, 5, those have to be 1, 3, those have to be 4, 6. And now we can do a lot of regular Sudoku. For example, this is disambiguated by a 3 in one of these cells, making that a 1, 3, that is therefore a 5, 3, this 4 here means that's 2, 4. Uh, this 4 disambiguates that. Uh, this 7, 9. Well, there's a 7 one of those cells. So this is 9, 7. That's 5, 7. Uh, this can't be 6, so that's 8, 6. And that is all we can do right now. Those are not disambiguatable. Right, so with that alone, we've actually made a lot of progress. Uh... Here we are missing, we're missing a 1 which is one of those cells. I have, a, I have a feeling again that, right, 4 in this row come in those cells, these 4s look at those cells, so 4 goes there. Uh, 4, right, 4 in this column now come in those cells, this 4 looks at that, so 4 goes there. Uh, 4, yeah, 4 in this box must now go here, which means that in this box has to go here, which gives us all the 4s, I think. Yeah, 4 goes there. We can do the same for 6s, I think, because in this row, 6 can't be there, there, or there, so 6 goes there. 6 in, uh, it's one of the columns, I think. I can't tell. Yeah, 6 can't be in any of those cells, can't be there, so 6 must be there in this column. Uh... Where else do we have here? 6 can't be here, 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 or there, so 6 goes there, which gives us our final 6 to be here. That is, well, there is one more 6 here, I didn't see that. 6 is here. So yeah, all the 6s, there we go. 7s, uh, we have 8s, no, 9s, no. I mean, we have to use these dots at some point. Sorry, let me let me just 
blanked out for a bit. Those digits have to be 7, 8, and 9. This can't be 7, 8, so that's 9. This forms a 7, 8 pair. I could probably do the same here, where this has to be 1, 2, and 3. This can't be 2 or 3, so that's 1. This has to be 2 or 3. Actually, the dot should tell us something. If this is 2, this would have to be 1 or 3. If it's 3, it would have to be 2 or 4, but can't be 4. So this just has to be 1, 2, or 3. This one, if it's 7, it is 8 or 6, but can't be 6. Uh, and if it's 8, this would have to be 9 or 7. Uh, we could probably do that somewhere else as well. Maybe those digits. Yeah, those have to be uh, 1, 2, and 9. That can't be 2 or 9, so that's 1. This is a 2, 9 pair. Uh, 2 and 9 have to go there in that, in that case, because 2 and 9 here mean those can't be 2 or 9. I don't think we can do that. Uh, those digits have to be 1, 5, no, 1, <laughs> 1, 8, 9. Right. This can't be 1 or 8, so that's 9. This is a 1, 8 pair. Uh, those digits form a triple. What are they? 2, 3, 2, 3, 9. 2, 3, 9. Uh, and those actually form a pair. I didn't actually see that. Um, That is 7, 5, 5, 7. But oh, this 5 actually does disambiguate that. Then we can do the same here. This has to be like 5 and five and 3 or something. So that has to be 3, that has to be 5. This can't be 4, so that's 2. This can't be 6, so that's 8. Uh, and those digits also form a triple, which have to be 7, 8, 9, I think. And then 1 is one of those cells. Actually, this can't be 2 or 3, so that's 9. Sweet. Uh, I think we could... Yeah, that's 1. So this is also 7, 8, or 9, uh, but can't be 2, 9. Uh, yeah, so that's 7, 8. Uh, those digits have to be 1, 2, and 3. Those digits have to be 5, 7, 8. Wow, okay, we're not getting much here. Those have to be 3, 5, and 2, 3, and 5. This is 2, 3, or 9. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty fruitless right now. Let's start at that. That's also 1, 7, 8. Then we got a bunch of stuff in the middle. These dots probably help us, even though I'm refusing to look at them. I guess 1? One? 1 ought to be next to 2 though. 1, 2... Yeah, it's the dot somehow. Uh... What are we missing here? 8? Yeah, we are missing an 8 here. Can this be 8? Yeah, because that could be 7 or 9. But we know 8 is in one of those cells. I think similarly we can say 2 is in one of those cells. Uh, <laughs> 8 here would require this to be 7 or 9, which both of which are possible. Well, I guess an 8 would form a triple there. Uh, should we look at this column then? This is 1, 2, 8, 9. 1, 2, 8, 9. Uh, that does absolutely nothing, so... That's great. I don't think we should look at that then. Mm, yeah, I'm definitely missing something. Yeah, okay. The, the I was wondering if the uh, negative constraint applied. It doesn't, because those have to be consecutive either way, even without the dot. So, no consecutive constraint, meaning I, I'm actually not missing... Well, I'm not missing any rules. 2 here forces to be 1 or 3, which affects that.
5 is in one of those cells. Uh, no, 8 is in... Right, okay, 8 is in one of those cells. There you go. 8 has to be one of those cells, therefore none of those cells can contain 8. Uh, we can say that by this column here, that can't be 8, so 8 is in one of those cells. Uh, this can't be 8, so that can't be 7, because this can't be 6 or 8, so this has to be 8, 7, which resolves a bunch of stuff. Uh, this has to be 7, this is 1, uh, and we can probably do the same thing down here where this must have a 2 in it. So those can't be 2, this therefore can now be 2, because... Wait, no, this can't be 3, because this can't be 2 or, or 4. So now that's 2, 3, which resolves a bunch of stuff. 3... 9, 2, 9, uh, yeah, I knew I was missing something somewhere. 9 actually resolves that, so that's 7, 1 resolves this, that's 3. This now can't be 8, because this can't be 7 or 9, so that's 8, and suddenly this has to be 2, because this can't be 2, because that can't be 3 or 1. Uh, this has to be, well, 7 resolves this 5, 7 pair firstly. So that is our last digit, which has to be a 9 which has to be next to 8, which resolves the 5-8 pair. Uh, those kind of 3 in them, the 5 up here resolves the 2-5 pair. That digit is 1, which must be next to 2, resolves this. This 8 resolves that, because that, that can't be 7 or 8, that's 9. That's 8. This 3-5 is resolvable by this 3 here. Oh, 3 in the corner, nice. Uh, those are 7 and 9, yep, that's fine. This is 1 and 3, F solving in 10 minutes and 36 seconds. Yeah, fun puzzle. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.